Hello and what is up guys, Rai here and welcome back to some more automation and BeamNG Drive. We are building ourselves an all-electric car today and it's not going to be like one of those boring Teslas or this Audi e-tron or Volkswagen ID3 or whatever else you could find. It's going to be a supercar. I mean, not like the Rimac C1 or C2, it's going to be a, a better supercar than those. It's going to be the fastest car in the world, but also an all-electric supercar. It's got a lot of things uh, in one vehicle today. Um, so first thing we're going to do, obviously, is design the car, build the car, and then we're going to hop into Beam and G. We're going to make this car all-electric, and then we're going to drive it. And I want to see if it could break the 316 mile per hour mark that uh, SSC, I think it's the SSC Tutara, whatever it's called, um, is claiming now their, their claims might be false but that's what they're claiming right now so we'll see if we can break that uh if not 330 which is their top speed achieved uh so we'll do our best to beat that uh in beam and g drive um like i said we're going to design the car right now first thing i want to do is just choose the panel material we'll go for partial aluminum for now or aluminium for you guys across the pond um now this is an audi r8 body it is a mod body on the steam workshop i might put a link down below if if i forget just just Comment on the just comment on the video and I'll I'll I'll, uh, I'll post a link to that. Uh, Monocoque chassis type will go for glued aluminium or aluminum chassis material for now. Um, now how this is going to work is we're going to swap out the actual gas motor that we make in automation uh, into an electric motor in BMG Drive, and we're going to change all that, of course, after the car is done designed. Uh, so you're not going to see the actual electric motors until we're in BMG Drive. We're going to go for a mid-mounted longitudinal engine. We want all-wheel drive. Push rod and push rod suspension, please. We'll go for the engine selection now. This is where it gets kind of interesting. Now, we are going to be swapping out the gas motor for electric motors, the electric or the gas engine for electric motors uh, in BMG. So it doesn't really matter what we do. All we got to do here is just have it so it's just a uh, just a non-turbo engine. Two liter inline four sounds reasonable. Uh, we'll do, actually, we want really light pistons, we'll save some weight. I, I don't think it actually matters actually at all, but we'll do that. No turbochargers. Um, I guess what we'll say for this thing is just like, this is just like the, the test bed, why not? I'm not too sure. Uh, sure, premium fuel sounds reasonable, and just sort of skipping over everything as we go. Uh, red line's higher, it, it runs, it's got power. Oh, we've got a lot of octane left, like a lot of octane left, we'll just crank that up to 10. That sounds reasonable, probably, I think it's reasonable. Uh, and as long as it's not knocking, we're pretty much good. Now, we'll, we'll increase the red line a bit higher. It's going to rev very high, and it's going to be an electric motor. Under 95 horsepower is enough to drive the wheels, probably. That's that's fine. We're using this coupe body. It's Again, it's an Audi R8 body. We're going to go ahead and choose the drivetrain. All-wheel drive, 7-speed dual-clutch gearbox. A bit of a rear bias, just, just a little bit. 65, 35. Top speed is very low, but this is the automation top speed. It's going to have a much more powerful electric motor in Beam and G Drive. I think we'll just do like a thousand horsepower, uh, 1500 horsepower, something like that. It's a, a crazy amount of power. Uh, radial tires, semi slicks, and we're going to go for. I want a wide boy. This thing's going to look. I want it to look. Wait, can we actually do. Can we do. Wait, with this. Okay, I kind of want that actually. We're going to make it a little thicker as well. We're going to have thick. Thick wheels and tires, man. 22 is this thing is the real deal 21s probably actually oh, that's probably uh supercar rim size 21s are quite big 22s are obscenely large we'll go for 395s rear and we'll go for what 325s front sounds reasonable and space them out this body is not the best for spacing things because look there's a bit of a no it actually the, the fitment's there it's there a little less actually a little less both just so it fits nicely there carbon fiber wheels uh, vented discs for the brakes for now, just a four piston, fully clad under tray. I don't think that'll actually help in Beam and G, and it adds weight, so we'll take it off. Two seater, luxury, and a premium heads up display. It's gonna be an expensive ish car. I mean, I don't think it'll be expensive in automation because it's got a naturally aspirated four cylinder. That's okay, that's fine. ESC launch control, sure, doesn't really matter. And then we'll do for a heavier suspension setup. We, we want to add some more weight, probably. Um, because this thing has got to be reasonably heavy in Beam and G, or else it's no fun. Come on, come on, it's got to be heavy. Uh, we can actually, does this add weight? That's a lot of weight, actually, and a lot of cost. The weight distribution right now is almost 50-50, which is literally the only goal for the actual, uh, engineering of this car. 50-50 and a decent weight. Very slow right now. We're gonna go for... Steel Steel, probably. More weight is fine, actually. Uh, we want to add some more weight to, or less weight in the front. We're gonna go carbon ceramics up front. And it'll go a little bit bigger, a little bigger, a little bigger. 
and the rear we want to go we'll stay in solid discs and we'll go for six piston and a lot bigger because this thing is going to be a lot right now the car only goes to 270 kilometers an hour approximately so it's going to be a lot faster in bmg so uh we got to sort of account for that i don't think it'll be great in bmg but it's going to be hella fast and that's the fun part before a better interior quality do we want that and that lowers weight what's the weight distribution it's it's almost 50 50 it's actually pretty close it's, it's closer than what, what what i thought what if we go for actually wheel wheels that's a bit closer it's pretty much 50 50 i want to get this thing exactly 50 50 the the graphs looking good it's pulling some g's it's not doing the best but it's doing okay uh what we're gonna do now the engine's gonna get torn out in beam and g we're gonna put an electric motor in here with a thousand horsepower oh I, think, I hope it's all wheel drive i'm not too sure actually we'll, i'll figure it out so i'm gonna design the car in a short time lapse and then we're gonna go over some things in automation and then we're gonna hop in beam and g make this thing all electric and a complete beast and see if we can break the record for 300 uh and 16 i think it's 316 miles an hour so sit back relax guys and i hope you enjoy so we are starting the design for our Audi R8 style body, all electric, hyper car, top speed thingamajigger. Uh, first things first, of course, the front end, like I always do, is gonna, I'm going I'm to shape the front end. Uh, having sort of a big smile, a big grin for the front end, similar to the Apollo IE except flipped, and a little bit less sharp lines and a little bit more uh, soft edges. Almost going for a retro kind of modern look so far. It's based off my other Saber, Saber cars, uh, which I'm going to link down below here. Um, what we're doing here is just framing out the front grill, adding a few details here and there because it's not going to have, you know, a real grill, it's going to have a fake grill. Um, so I'm just trying to add some sort of detail and see what I want there. Uh, I do end up giving up on that for now and sort of adding in the DRLs around the top and the sides of the vehicle uh, for now, having sort of a C shape up top and sort of a uh, curving L shape, almost C shape. Uh, in the bottom, uh, deleting a bit of stuff on the front grille area and adding uh, a bit more detail here and there as well. This is 50 times speed actually. It's going quite quick, although not much is happening right now. Uh, framing out a few more things here uh, and there, adding details to the actual grille itself, making the the edges of the actual front end where the headlights are and the bottom grille actual real vents, where the middle one is going to be a fake sort of indentation. Uh, adding a few details here and there. Now we're changing the color, uh, sticking with this leather for now so we can see the details of the car. Changing the grill and all the surrounds to black. Adding a few details in the, the bottom grill vent area uh, to make it perfect. A few details in the actual grill, adding a badge area. And just slowly working on the front end, uh, adding some projector headlights. Uh, and then details to the grill, which do take a bit of time. Uh, I just want to say here that I actually designed this entire vehicle live in my Discord in uh, general chat, voice chat with you guys. If you guys want to help me design more cars in the future, join the link down below. Uh, I added some camera mirrors on the side, uh, then some simple five-spoke wheels, made them nice and dark gray, uh, sort of glossy finish. But a simple plus logo which is the saber logo on the side then adding some detail in the front end like a small front splitter and just some body molding to add depth to the front of the vehicle itself a bit more lines here and there for the front headlights the front end took actually a long time for this because i wasn't sure what i wanted to do uh, then some bumps and some vents on the hood itself adding a side air intake or i'm starting to add a side air intake on the side uh, and then doing a b pillar delete on the hyper because that's what i want i think it looks good um, now onto the back end, which I, again, I spent quite a bit of time on this, having a similar layout to the front, not a, not a smiley face though, just a straight line with some indentations in the middle. Again, similar to my previous Saber vehicle, adding a C-shape DRL or daytime run light, I guess, to the back, uh, adding a bit more details to the front, and then adding a bar across the back. Um, and now the back end, I'm framing out what exactly I want, uh, for this, and I just mimic sort of the top shape, put it on the bottom and have it flat there. Um, not too much detail was really needed on the back itself, adding a place uh, for a license plate after I detail the actual uh, bottom indentation. Um, and the license plate's just going to go there saying show car because why not. Adding some more brake lights down there on the bottom. Has sort of a McLaren-ish vibe to the back, almost a Bugatti vibe, a playing with a wing design. Um, and a few more things like the brakes and stuff as well on the vehicle. And in front of us is the 2020 hypercar, the Sater Vettora STD 1500. Finally, the Sabre Vettora STD1500 is complete. It took quite a while to design this one. I actually designed the whole thing, uh, or pre yeah, pretty much the entire thing, in my Discord. Link in the description if you guys want to hang out with me while I design my cars. You can actually help me design the cars, because I, I did take uh, opinions from the people 
uh, in the Discord call. The, the logo's disappeared right now, and so is the back logo. I'm not too sure what's wrong, but that's okay. Uh, so we'll go over the design real quick, then we'll talk about electric electrifying, electrifying the, the Saber Vitora. Um, so design, it, it copies, not really copies, it takes inspiration from another one of my cars, another Saber vehicle, which I've never made a video really on. I did a t tutorial on making high revving cars, but that's a different video. Um, so I made this car sort of based on that, which is sort of based on the Apollo IE. It's got a bit of McLaren. Uh, it, it's got a bit of a few cars. Uh, I'll put some pictures on the screen. A few, few cars uh, here and there. We have a real big grin on the front of a C shape almost front grille, whole front fascia basically going into these uh, C shape headlights. And we have a sort of a L shaped or almost a C shape uh, bottom uh, DRL, daytime running light. We have two projectors up there, which with real sort of goes into that. Um, some little snorkels on the front. The actual front grille itself, because this thing is all electric, is just black. There's no actual grille. Uh, there is a grille here, though, and down here to get some air for the brake cooling or uh, the electric motor cooling or something like that. We have some massive five-spoke wheels. It didn't take on the side, and I guess it's sucking air in to cool maybe the brakes or the motors in the rear. It's a, it's a four motor. It's all-wheel drive. It could be a four, a, th a three, two more. I don't know. There's, there's several motors, probably. Uh, we have an invisible B pillar, which I, it, it doesn't look perfect, but like, you know, from afar, it looks pretty cool. I like how it looks from some angle. A uh, McLaren Senna style wing. And we have a interesting rear fascia, similar to the front in the sense we've got a C shape uh, DRL tail light set up. You also have lights right here, which could be the reverse lights as well. License plate, a really basic diffuser. Uh, and it's almost like a Bugatti, I think, a Bugatti rear end. I'll post a picture, maybe. It, it copies my other Saber vehicle, which I'll post as well. Um, so yeah, right now, uh, the car is 200 horsepower. That's before it's being electrified. It's going to still have the motor. It's still going to have the weight. That's okay. The, the motor weighs nothing, but it's going to be uh, an electric-ish vehicle. It's going to drive electric. It's going to sound electric. It's going to be electric, uh, hopefully. Right now, it's got nearly a 50-50 weight distribution, which is great, but that does not take into account the fixtures. So there's a lot more weight from the fixtures in here. So this thing weighs probably like... We'll test the weight in BMG. I'm going to guess right now. I haven't checked yet. I'm going to test right. I'm going to guess right now. It's going to be 5,200 pounds. 5,200 pounds will be my weight guess in BMG, which is very heavy for any car. But we'll see. Um, so what I'm going to do to make this car electric is there's a tutorial online, which uh, actually consider used it for his electric truck video. Um, it's not really a true electric car, but it is basically making the car uh, act and drive like an electric vehicle. I'll put a link down below to that. Uh, you can also watch Consider's video as well. I'll also put a link down below to another video, an actual tutorial on making your car have BMG uh, drive electric motors. Um, so you guys can watch that too if you guys want another way. Um, and the sounds and all that, so uh, it's very similar to Consider's electric pickup truck, just a bit different. Um, so yeah, it wasn't too hard to make this thing electric. The sounds actually gave me a bit of trouble making it sound how I want it to sound because this thing, yeah, it, it, there's so much top speed. And it doesn't, yeah, I want to make sounds through all the speeds. Let's just say that. So we're going to hop into Beam and G Drive. We're going to weigh this thing because I am really curious on what this thing weighs. Um, and like, like you, know, you know, guys, so I, I designed this car in the Discord. So join the Discord link in the description if you guys want to help me design more stuff. Um, I want to see what this thing weighs in Beam and G. We're going to drive it uh, for our top speed run. And I want to drive it on the track and see how it handles being so heavy. So we'll see you guys there in just one second. So finally, we are in BeamNG Drive. There is a way scale next to us. We are in the open map here. Uh, we're going to do a top speed test with no issues at all. But first, we're going to weigh this thing. And I'm, I'm really, I'm genuinely curious to see what it weighs. Okay. Okay. Not bad, actually. A little farther. Nope. So 4,990 pounds. That's actually lighter than I thought. The car doesn't look the best in BMG, kind of glitched out, but that's it's okay. The car still looks pretty good. I'll have a link uh, down below. If you guys want to check out this car, the link's down below. Um, again, I'm going to link the, the tutorial on how to make your car electric as well. So we're going to go off the ramp nice and slow. Um, this thing is very quick. Now, a normal electric car wouldn't really rev like this, but that's okay. I kind of like the, the launch sounds. So, 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 2.1 seconds, which is respectable for an electric car, I feel like. Now... It climbs so fast to its top speed. <laughs> it climbs so fast. Okay, we've already passed 330 miles an hour. And pulling the strongest. 602 miles an hour airspeed. Look at this thing. Look at 
look at this thing! Oh, it's fantastic. This thing is an actual rocket ship. It is so much fun. With ESC on, actually, and it doesn't kick in too badly. Now, if we're gonna break here, the brakes are very large, but um, they're, they're full size, actually, now. Full break here, full braking. Come on, they don't lock up, though, which is pleasant. They're fading. One's fading. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Full braking. We're braking from a stop from 600 kilometers an hour. 604 kilometers an hour to zero in 14 seconds. One point over a kilometer. So almost, so like over half of a mile braking, guys. Over half a mile to brake this car from a top speed. Uh, and the brakes are, are probably literally on fire at this point. It sounds really cool too. I don't know if it's a full electric car kind of sound, but it sounds pretty cool uh, nonetheless. I don't know what it's, there we go. Look at this thing. Oh my god. Imagine that thing whirring past you at 600 kilometers an hour. This thing, it's coming. Looks like, it looks like a spaceship too, to be honest. We're going to hop uh, into the automation test track. I want to see, can this thing put down any sort of lap time? Uh, I don't really have high hopes for it, to be honest. We're here in the automation test track. We're going to do one full lap of this thing. Um, and just see what it could do for lap times. If it could do like a one... A 145 maybe would be really really my best time ever actually really insane um one thing to note about this car's handling that i've noticed in my testing is that it under it oversteers at low speeds so it's a little sketchy at low speeds not a ton of overall grip uh at high speeds though there's so much downforce and it grips so insanely well at high speeds um another problem obviously is the brakes this thing is so fast and there's so much power you can go so quickly in the straightaways the brakes get a little bit hot, even though they are max size and automation. I could modify the beam and G file, and I encourage you guys, if you guys want to download this car, to, check, to try that as well. Modify the uh, the beam and G file to give it better brakes. I didn't touch that myself. Just the engine. We're going to get some air, maybe. Yep, there's some air. 360 kilometers an hour in the straightaway. We're going to brake a little bit. The brakes are overheating by a lot. They're cooking 600 or so degree brakes. Celsius, not Fahrenheit. Oh, 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 oh. That was a slow straight there, but that's okay. We made it. We're alive. The brakes are still overheated. The front, at least. We gotta use the, the rear just a little more if we can. There we go. We'll go to... 250 is fine. Breaking a little more... A pretty awful lap today, but that's okay. We're at 120. We can go... Okay, 150 maybe. Which will still be a fine lap. This thing, it, it, it doesn't handle... Um insanely well it's not bad it's just it's it's too fast for its own good honestly the brakes are not they can't cope but the acceleration my goodness yeah the brakes are just overheating we gotta increase the uh brake cooling probably yeah 155 not okay oh oh we lost the back wing that's not good that's literally all of our downforce for the rear <laughs> we couldn't finish the lap we're gonna limp Look, it exploded so badly. We're gonna go. We got this. Come on. Oh god. Did we hit it? We didn't even... <laughs> we didn't hit the checkpoint. So it was like a 210. Yeah, it was a bad lap, to be honest. But it exploded. There's so much fixtures here that just explode. The car is missing half of everything. It did a lap. I'll count that as a win in my books. Um, Can we can we do a burnout, though? That's another question. It's all-wheel drive, but can I do a burnout? The brakes are super strong. Able to sing in place really well. Can we do like a brake stand on the grass? Or burn on the grass? Wow. If we can. Oh god, the steering, the steering wheel is not liking this at all. Oh gosh. It's like a rocket ship taking off. You guys can hear this? That's my steering wheel. I'm trying here. We'll break. Oh, I think the Saber v v v Vituri, the Vituri, I don't know. The, the Saber is done for today. We're going to finish it off. Download link is in the description below. Also with a ton of other links for tutorials on how to do this yourself. Uh, I, if you guys have never done it, I recommend giving it a try. You learn a bit about uh, how to modify JBeam and SBeam files as well. It's something new to learn. If you guys like the video, please leave a like down below. It means a lot. Helps me out a lot too. We're on the road to 10k subs. So if you guys can subscribe, That'd be really cool. We'll hopefully we'll hit 10k this year. Uh, and join the Discord. Like I said, in the description is the link if you guys want to help me design more cars in the future. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, 
I'll see you next time.